guys what's up this is Nain here from Techbarrack Solutions and today I will teach you how to connect the camera module to the Raspberry Pi and use it to click photo or video. The camera module will be connected to the port right behind the Ethernet port of the Raspberry Pi. The camera module comes in an anti-static cover. Make sure you ground yourself or use an anti-static band to avoid damage to the camera module. Remove the blue color guard from the camera lens and keep the camera module aside for the moment. Find the port on the Raspberry Pi behind the Ethernet port where you will attach the camera module and apply small pressure to pull the locking lever. Now place the camera module in the socket. Once done, push the locking lever down. Once all connections are done, the Raspberry Pi will look something like this. Make sure the Raspberry Pi is also connected to the internet. I will be SSHing my Pi. You can run the commands in LX terminal without SSHing. But if you prefer SSHing, you can go for SSHing. So once you SSH your Raspberry Pi or you open LX terminal, the first command is sudo apt-get update and and sudo apt-get upgrade these commands will download the latest packages and upgrade the old packages with new packages this command may take around 7 to 10 minutes once this is done type the next command that is sudo raspi-config this will open the raspberry pi configuration settings then scroll down to enable camera and select enable then select finish and select yes to reboot the raspberry pi Once the Raspberry Pi reboots, open LX terminal and type Raspi still. This is the command which will be used to click photographs. Once you type this command, you'll get a list of more commands that can be used along with this command. So to actually click a photograph, you need to type Raspi still dash O image dot JPEG dash T 5000. Now dash T 5000 is optional. It basically specifies that the photo will be clicked after 5 seconds. So that's like a self timer which I have enabled using this command. The photos will be stored in the home folder because I have specified the home folder's location. If you want to specify an actual location then instead of typing image.jpg directly type in the actual location and then the file name. For video, we will use the command raspi vid. Similarly, you will get a list of commands that can be used with raspi vid. But if you want to actually click a video, then type in raspi vid dash o video dot h two six four dash t ten thousand. Now this will click a video for ten seconds, and h two six four will be the format and the codec too. The file name is video, it will be again stored in the home folder. So if you want to store it somewhere else, specify the actual location. And in order to play this video, you need to type the command omx player space the file name. Now just don't type the file name if you have stored it in some other location, type the full location name and then the file name. And the video will play properly. So that's it with this video. I hope you guys liked it. So please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.